Welcome back to This is Van Color. A lot of our national crises in Canada either started in British Columbia or are more pronounced in British Columbia. And yet, outside of our own province, no one with power seems to care, even though BC's experience through several ongoing and sadly worsening crises may actually provide insight for policymakers if they're actually serious about finding solutions. Of course, I don't think they are serious, and I'll explain why. Let's take a moment. British Columbia is the epicenter for several Canadian crises, housing, toxic drugs, climate, and foreign interference. We've suffered these crises for years before our federal leaders and national media even took notice. If they had, BC's experiences could have, and still should, inform Canada's national response to these crises, which are killing Canadians. For example, BC has been in a housing crisis for over a decade to the point that 100,000 BC households are currently at risk of homelessness, a trend that has spread nationally only for our prime minister to assure us last month that it's not his responsibility. How about systemic death? Is that your responsibility, Prime Minister? Because BC declared a public health emergency on drug deaths seven years ago, and all we got from Ottawa was a very limited decriminalization pilot program that begrudgingly began this year and doesn't address the toxic drug supply, which is the thing that is killing people. It's like Ottawa doesn't believe us when we say it's an emergency, even as more than six British Columbians die every day. Now, Ottawa does have a knack for shrugging off emergencies, like when they declared a climate emergency in 2019, a day before approving the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion. Since then, BC, desensitized to wildfire smoke blanketing our summers, also introduced Canada to heat domes and atmospheric rivers, while the rest of the country debates the carbon tax, a debate BC resolved 15 years ago. But sure, let's do the bare minimum and debate the merits of the bare minimum while everything is on literal fire. Meanwhile, it was only this year that national headlines alerted us to foreign interference, although state-affiliated actors from China and India have been harassing and apparently killing Canadians within Canadian borders here in BC for years now. We're surprised that the rest of the country is surprised. We just thought Ottawa didn't care. Not that they weren't paying attention. And that's the problem. It's not just that Ottawa doesn't care about BC. It's that despite the misery, catastrophe, and death, they're not even paying attention. Folks, that's our show. Thank you so much to Mario Conseco and Bruce Banman for their time tonight. We have some amazing guests lined up for October. I don't even want to jinx it, but you know we're going to keep it made in BC, made for BC. And of course, please send your complaints to the team at checkmedia.ca. For now, though, this is Van Color, and I'm Mo Amir telling you that in a province where you can be anything, be colorful. Peace. <laughs>